Hello, you beautiful people of Miss Harris's class. My name is Tom McLaughlin, and my students call me Mr. Mac. And I'm coming to you on Veterans Day, which is a day when we say thank you to the women and the men and the good people who have served in the United States military, either the Army or the Navy, the Marines or the Air Force or the Coast Guard. And uh, I am someone who volunteered to be an officer in the Air Force. Now, um, I am came from Seattle, near Seattle, which is uh, the uh, ancestral lands of the Duwamish people. And here we are, you and I and Miss Harris, we're down here in the Portland area, which is the ancestral homes of the Chinook people. Um, I went to college back here in Indiana, a place called Notre Dame, which is a land of the Potawatomi people. And that's where I did most of my military training. And then when I finally got onto active duty, that is the Air Force finally sent me uh, to fulfill my duty and my assignment to serve the country, I served way up here on the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, which is the ancestral land of the Anishinaabek people. So what motivated me to uh, join the military was my father. Uh, my father served in the Navy. He was on a submarine. And there in the middle there, you see that picture here. Uh, let's uh, do a highlighter here. Yeah. So right here, uh, whoops, I'm moving that around. He served on a, on a submarine. It's a boat that goes underwater, spends most of his time underwater. And you'll see in that picture, there's a helicopter sitting on top of his submarine. And that was a day that his submarine rose up to the surface of the sea and helped save a helicopter that was in trouble. And it was a helicopter of the Soviet Union, Russia. They were actually um, adversaries and enemies. And my dad's boat helped to save this helicopter. Down there in the lower right, you'll see my brother, John, who also served in the Navy. Most of my training took place uh, back in uh, Indiana, uh, but there was one, um, one period of uh, a month-long period when I was in boot camp, and that was down uh, also near Seattle, um, near Mount Rainier, which is uh, uh, called Tahoma by the Puyallup people who lived on that land for for thousands of years before people who look like me came here. So in boot camp, we did a lot of marching and a lot of running. I had to make my bed in a really special way so there were no creases, no wrinkles on the bed. And if there were, I would get in trouble and have to do a lot of extra marching. Um, this is a picture of me when I was about 20 years old, standing near an F-15 fighter jet. You see some of the F-15s flying around Portland overhead. Sometimes you'll hear them really loud noises and they're going very fast and they're usually like two of them flying together. And they're, they're stationed down at Portland International Airport. Also in boot camp, one of the things I got to do was fly in a trainer jet. So you see pictures of me here down in the lower right. I've got that, that uh, helmet on and the face mask and it's just the pilot in me. And he took me flying and I'm breathing through the oxygen mask and he's doing all these loops and rolls and dives. And then he gave me the stick. He said, here, you fly the plane. And he let me fly it for a couple of minutes and he taught me how to do some, some little tricks. It was really pretty cool. And then finally, I was commissioned an officer in the Air Force. And this is my parents who are putting on my gold bars on my shoulder, which showed that I was an officer in the military. Now, I served as a personnel officer, which means I had an office job and it was pretty boring. Down there in the lower right, you see a lot of the people that I worked with in my um, office. And there's also a picture of me with uh, my first wife when we first got up there. And in the back, you'll see this plane. It's called a B-52 bomber. So I was on a base that had planes that would fly with bombs in case we ever had to go to war, which fortunately we did not have to do when I was um, in the military. Now, did I ever fly uh, um, an aircraft? Well, it wasn't my job. But one of the things that I did get to do was go up in what's called a KC-135 refueling plane. It's kind of like a flying gas station. And you see a picture there in the upper left. 
that shows the, the plane in the front is the KC-135 refueler. And you see that big long line going down to a B-52 airplane. That's um, like a long tube. It's called a boom. And I got to sit in the back and you can see in the lower right there, that was the view that I saw when I got to fly on that refueler and watch it put gas in that bomber. So that was a very um, exciting day for me. Uh, most of my time though was pretty boring. One thing I will tell you though, it was kind of interesting, especially on Veterans Day here. You'll see behind uh, me in that picture on the left, there are those two uh, tall white poles. Those are actually flagpoles. And every day, the American flag would be flown on those flagpoles. And then every day at five o'clock, um, the, the Star Spangled Banner would get played while they lowered the flags. And wherever you were on base, as soon as you heard that Star Spangled Banner, you stopped wherever you were. If you were driving down the road, you're, you stopped your car and pulled to the side of the road. And as a military member, wherever I was, I would stop, I would stand at attention, and I would salute until the Star Spangled Banner was over, and then I would go about my business. So that's a little bit about my time in the military. Being in the military, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, the Marines, this is one of the ways that we can serve our country, serve our neighbors, serve each one of us. Um, now, there are lots of ways that you can serve. You can serve your country by doing volunteer work, by going to a soup kitchen and helping people who don't have any food to get food. A few years ago, that's what I had to do. Someone came and gave me food because I, I couldn't afford my groceries. You can serve your, your country by cleaning up garbage in your neighborhood. You can serve your country by being nice to each other. There are lots of ways to serve. One of the ways that we can serve is in the military. And the Veterans Day, this is a day where we say thank you to all of those people who have served.